Hello there everybody, today we will be taking a look at some of my aircraft designs and how they've progressed from the start. Now here, we have my very first plane, this biplane right here. Now this is actually an unpliable version. The original version had a different prop design, but unfortunately I don't have that mod on in this world, so we can't actually fly that thing. However, I can show you how this was like. So, as you can see here, you can get in chair. Found the torque for this. Yeah, uh, this thing doesn't have enough lift. So. Um, number two and three would be have been your yaw. Uh, you had two guns, and you had bombs, and you could apparently just blow off your tail. Excellent aircraft design, am I right or am I right? Now, for the next aircraft, we'll have, you have an example that actually flies here, and here we will have fighter planes. So I'll just take this A variant, because the original variant isn't that much different. Oh, what the hell? Wrong with this thing. Okay, I guess we're taking the original variant because the A1 version is falling apart. Nope, this thing is... What the hell is wrong with this? Um, well, I guess we're not seeing that thing. I guess we're not flying this thing now. Or are we? Hold on. Yeah, I suppose we can fly it. We are just going to take the A1 version of this. There's nothing important mounted on that strut, it's just a set of guns. So, just going to take off without that set of guns. And off you go. Now, this is a wide boy, so. Yeah. It flies decent. Definitely not the best, but. Um, as you can see, it's wonky. Um, number four, you have flaps apparently. Uh, five is your gear. Six and seven are your. And eight is all the guns. So yeah, this one's still kind of shite, but again, this is one of my earliest aircraft, and it's. Alright, it's definitely not the best, but still. Now, um, between that and the next one, we have a fairly large hiatus from aircraft construction, but we come back from that all the stronger because we end up with um, this guy, the Hanlian Vampire. Now, this thing doesn't look quite right, but eh. Yeah. You do what you have to do to get the thing flying. So, this thing you can see already has quite a bit of improvement. It's a little bit odd, but as you can see, it's way better. This one flies pretty well. Um, this was good before some other update, so the balancing might be a bit off, but still, it's surprisingly fine. Oh, this one is weird, apparently. Uh, and number 6, we have a shipload of machine guns. This thing is literally not going to be able to find machine gun out there. So now let's attempt a graceful landing. Land, land, land. There we go. And move on to the next plane. Now, I'm quite sure most of these are on my workshop, so you can go grab those there. The vampire is only available in silver, the black version is exclusive, but still. Now, after the vampire, uh, at, at some point we got this thing, which is... It used to fly, but it doesn't anymore. 
and this is a bomber aircraft. Now, since it can't really fly, um, I'll just grab one and show you what I can, which is. Now, um, in the original, there would have been a bomb in here, but that's been cut out on this version. So now you have a machine gun turret. Left, right, up, and down. So, now, uh, you have a cockpit here, and of course you have two machine guns. And over here you have another one, the uh, cockpit. Uh, this thing, on well, this thing it looks like the pitch is jank. It doesn't look like it has much of a pitch, which is... I suppose it might be why it's not flying. But I can't be bothered to check. So, yep, yo yo. And, yeah, there's your engine. It's a six-engine plane, of course, reasons. Um... What did, what did number 5 do? I'm not sure what 5 does. I haven't touched this thing in a long time. So 7 does that, and 6 also does. No idea. So you have your cockpit, and you have one last, gu one last gunner position over here. So same thing. Two guns. Uh, this. Two. Uh, looks like this one has a lock. Yeah, um, this one is pretty bad, but... Now, I'm not sure, I, I can't be too sure when this has been. You can probably check by looking at the order where it's been posted on my workshop, but still. Anyways, now on to the next one. We have the Testbed series. Um, testbed Air number 1. This is one of my first prop aircraft. Well, the, the, my first one that actually worked. And it flies decently well. It's a fairly acceptable aircraft. Again, built before the update, so no idea how it's going to be like now. Uh, yeah, it flies fairly well. Um, controls are very sensitive, apparently. It's a fairly fast guy. I remember this thing being slower. So, we have guns. This thing it didn't actually fly. This thing flies fairly well, but it's really not too great. It does have tricycle gear though, which is nice. And for the next one, we are going to bring out the number two. Now we're going to bring out the number two C2. No, just the number two C. And this is the version with instruments installed. This entire thing this is originally designed as a swing wing test bed, but that failed horribly. So we're just going to look at the functioning version. Also known as the number two C. As you can see, it has a very jank cockpit um, inside here. Oh, no. Oh, is this not the instrument? Weird. Um, Testbed error number 2, C, B, number 2, C1. Yeah. This is the instrument version. Yes. So, as you can see, you have your cockpit with all your instrument thingies. Let's just take off. Now it flies very well. It has four wheels for some reason. So that's a bit weird, but okay. Um, it flies fairly well. Like most of these things. It, it's a faster power gun, which means it's also pretty fast. So, you have four machine guns. Ooh. Um, 
Oh, right, this one has shoots. Uh, well, it's a good enough time to check. Oh, number eight is your afterburner. But yeah, you're not going to be a, be flying to. You're not going to be flying to well with these shoots open. So I am going to attempt to land this thing, which won't be too hard considering the the shoots are open. Yeah, we'll just let the parachutes take over and come in for a nice soft landing. There we go. So, this thing, even though it's designed for instrument view, it doesn't actually have a great first person view, so it kind of defeats the entire point. But still, it's an important step in the developmental process. Now, next up, we have some of my favorite aircraft, the AC. So, here we are going to have the A-15, the first of the A-series. Now, this is one of my first aircraft after I got back into the game. Well, my first, this is my first prop aircraft after I got back into the game. Now, um, it appears that the engines have decided not to work properly. Uh, let's, let's try this again. Just getting in the plane. Um, engine, what are you doing? Um, well, it would look like the plane has decided to not work. We will be right back. So, we are back. And the plane is now working as it should be, which it flies fairly well. It's a nice little handy, handy little aircraft. Um, as you can see, it does have some racks for bombs there. We're not going to we're not going to try bombing with this one because it's kind of shit. But yeah, so here we have. The beginnings of the standardized control scheme. Now this was built after the update, as you can see, due to the due to the usage of the new blocks. So three, four, there you are, as usual. Take the machine guns. There's two of them. Um, number seven and eight are the eject function, and these are present on most of the AC aircraft. Not on the A16, but there are reasons for that. Now number 8 is how you drop your bombs. No, number 9 is how you drop your bombs if you have any. You can see we're still losing LP here, but that's not, not, not a problem. So now this is a good time to try the jet function. And we're out! Woohoo! Now it's designed to crash automatically. So that you have a chance to delete it. But we can just use this very handy little block here for that. Now next up in the A series you have the A20 slash A750. They're the exact same thing. I'm just gonna grab the A750 because it's just more fun to use. A750 just has the bonus of this push pull function on the engines. So now we're going to strap some bombs to this one because this one is actually capable of carrying quite a lot of bombs. Bombs are loaded. So now let's take this thing out for a flight, shall we? Now this the eight 820 type has new, numerous improvements over the A15. Beyond the extra engines, it also has a eject feature and it's more responsive in the environment. Now this might just be because it has more pockets, but still. Now we're going to drop our bombs. Mastering there. Oh, good job. Good job. All right. So now we're just going to do well. As you can see, this is a very fast boy, and guns uh, four of them. 
the very fast boy it's can cross the map really fast. So now let's try the improved jet feature. And out we go. As you can see this one ejects with much more uh, ferocity I suppose. And it also has a much more efficient injection system which is nearly a guarantee that you get injected in like the A15 where you might need to wobble a bit. Now we do have this testing version of the A15 with more props but this one's kind of eh. Now here we have the newest aircraft, the A16, which is it's basically a ripoff Spitfire. <laughs> so this thing has four machine guns but they are used fake. So it just means they shoot slower. And you can see the but it them. Now this does have a red this lacks an injection seat, but it does have this rather handy realism quote unquote feature. Where if you flip over, um, prolonged negative G maneuver long enough, the engine's gonna start cutting out. And it, there is a gyroscope in there that does this. So now we're going to attempt to recover. And we have successfully recovered the aircraft. So now, uh, yaw, tree. Again, your yaw is fairly expensive, but you're mainly going to be using your kitchen road in conjunction with the uh, feet money instead of your Now, first person view, um, it's fairly nice. I forgot to show the first person view in the A15, I believe. Now, this thing does share the, its like, disadvantage of slowly descending. Right, so you're gonna have to pitch, pitch up just a bit every now and then to maintain altitude. So now, the machine guns, they will cause you to slow down significantly. And you do have your one bomb sound over here. Number 7 will drop that bomb. So now we're going to try again. Perfect landing! Perfect landing! So, yeah. That... Now that's basically all of the planes we have, I have today. All of the proper ones, that is. And now, there, there are a few bonus ones, like, for example, the microplane series. Now we have the microplane, the original, the A1, which is just a bit faster. There's the A1X, which uses the sci-fi mod, it just has a bunch of missiles added, and the A1GAP, which is the A1, but with cannons attached. Now we're just going to look at the normal A1. Tiny little plane. And... Off we go. Again, this is a fairly fast boy. It's also surprisingly responsive. Although it's, I suppose I'm not too surprised when it's an ultra like small thing. It does have a not limited pitch. Pitch down, but it's not a big, big deal. And we have three machine guns, which is actually more than most of the normal sized propeller aircraft have. Now we also have. A version of the microplane that's powered by potato guns. That is actually a predecessor version of the microplane. And if I can get the CD It doesn't fly nearly as well. It's kind of right. But it it exists if you for some, whatever reason would like it. And of course now that we've gone through basically all the planes that sort of work, I'm going to show you some of the ones that did not. And here, at top of the list, we have a failed thing that I once tried to pass off as the BS BF-109. It's kind of, it's absolutely terrible. As you can, for some reason it uses electric drive as well, which is weird. And it has these tiny little fins, and yeah, it's just stupid. Uh... The gear is terrible. Yeah, this thing has never worked. 
at all. So, other than that, we also have one of the newer attempts of biplane by plane actually. The old ones flew, even if not well, but the new ones just didn't. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the same chassis as this one. I don't think it is. I think it's a completely new version. New build. But yeah, this one's absolute shite. It doesn't... This one flies somewhat, but that's just because it has thrusters on it. The original propeller version is the You have two machine guns, and you have basically no roll control at all because... You know, the fins are absolutely tiny. Now, um, it used to really like to pitch down, and that's been corrected somewhat with the thruster version. But it like to pitch down because the propeller pod used to be up there. So yeah, that was another epic failure. Now, other than that, I do not believe we have any further aircraft fails. We do have some non-aircraft failures, but I believe that might be all we have in the aircraft failure department. Unless one would like to... Oh yes, uh, the tree flugel. Who can forget the tree flugel? I mean this one actually flies, sort of. It's just kind of shit. And so... Yeah, you're gonna want... Oh my. Yeah, you're gonna probably want to him for this. Um, yeah, it flies. Not well, but not well, but it flies. So. The way all does work. Um, I don't see why you would want to fly this thing over a normal aircraft. Can't, can't shit. And this is, this is exactly why this thing didn't work out in real life. Obviously. And there's also like no way to land this thing. Because it just dart it just smashes in the ground like a dart. Um other than that, um this thing doesn't really count as an aircraft. Um here we have a helicopter. It's not really an it's not really a plane, but it exists. It does work, mind you, but we're not going to show show this one this time. We have some cruise missiles, and well, it looks like that's just about every single. Well, we do have this thing, but I can't spawn this one. This one is basically it's an old retarded aircraft. It's technically my first aircraft, but it doesn't actually use the wings mod. Uh, no, no. Yeah, it would look like that's all I have in the aircraft department to show off now. So, I bid you adieu.